Taxes are something that no one looks forward to. I mean, I can't believe I'll have to fill out a bunch of forms when I'm older for this thing called the government so that they can take away my money because apparently they need to maintain the country I live in. I mean, I'm sure I could just survive by living out in the wild and just eat mud or something. It's so simple. But since I don't want to do that, and definitely not because I can't realistically consume mud and not immediately perish, I've invented a tax fraud simulator. It's a game you can play on Scratch and simulates committing tax fraud. Unfortunately for anyone who is expecting to actually fill out tax forms in my game, then you'll be greatly disappointed. Because I'm not about to actually research about taxes to make an accurate depiction of them in a game. But anyways, in my game, you'll be mainly using the Tax Fraudder 5000. The Tax Fraudder 5000 helps you avoid taxes by making you play minigames. And depending on how well you do on the minigames, you'll avoid paying a certain amount of your taxes. Unfortunately, you can't avoid all your taxes forever, and you'll slowly lose money to taxes each year. So, see how long you can go without becoming bankrupt. Now that I have told you what Tax Fraud Simulator is, I should show you some gameplay of it. To do this, I'm gonna show you this YouTube video I found. It's by this guy called Games Foundation, never heard of him. But I'm sure he'll say some good things about my game though, since I know it's a masterpiece. Alright, let's watch the video. So what's up everyone, this is gonna be a gameplay of Tax Fraud Simulator. Let's just hop right into it. Hi, huh, isn't that weird? He sounds exactly like me. Let me just skip ahead a bit. Why does it look like a 5 year old drew this? Oh come on, I worked hard on that. The Tax Fraudder 5000, huh? Hmm. This looks interesting. Let me skip ahead to a part where he's playing one of the mini games. So in this mini game, you throw some peanuts at some enemies to kill them. Alright, let's move on to the next mini game. In this minigame, you control a cat. You need to jump to avoid the rocks, and if you hit the rocks, you die. So now that you've seen and heard what Tax Fraud Simulator is about, you might have some questions such as, why does our game only have two minigames? Or isn't our game not really meaningful in any way? And we can't forget, wow, I think your game absolutely sucks. While that last one wasn't even a question, I can still answer them. So for the first question, I didn't have enough time to make more mini games than I was planning to, but things like failing to animate a peanut tumbling for an hour took up a lot of my time. And even though my game is kind of silly and not really the highest of quality, I think it was still valuable that I did this hack. I was able to practice my coding skills and make something that I was proud of, and while I probably won't specifically work on this game in the future, I will leave this hack feeling motivated to continue coding. So, to answer that second question, yes, my game is meaningful. I was happy with what I made, and someone might get a laugh or two out of my game, and that's good enough for me. Thanks for watching, everybody.